Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Kay, and on my channel, I do budget with me and cash stuffing videos. Today, I'm going to be cash stuffing my Friday pay of $905, so let's get to it. <laughs> Before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to all my new subscribers and thank you so much for um, visiting my channel and considering to subscribe. I am just amazed and blown away with how thoughtful and kind everyone is in this community and I appreciate everyone's support so much. Um, I have I think almost 200 subscribers, so I'm super excited. I can't believe how quickly my channel has grown and I am just so overwhelmed and appreciative of the support. So I just wanted to give everybody a huge thank you. Um, it really does mean a lot to me that you guys are here. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited about payday today. <laughs> I feel like I have been waiting for this paycheck all week long. Um, so let's get to my cash stuffing of my envelopes really quickly. I do have a little bit of rollover, not a whole lot. I feel like it's been forever since I spent the cash in these wallets. Um, I am like, well, I guess I don't need to move that. I have been like just spending everything in my pocket envelopes, like on Friday and Saturday. And then like all week long, I don't really do any spending because I'm working, but I wish I could roll over more, but I know that we're just, I'm working in a really tight budget, especially with my spending. So we're gonna try and repeat what we did last week, I think, um, except put a little bit more into groceries. So for entertainment, um, we're going to put 10. My boyfriend and I spent um, $10 on some discount um, movie tickets at Cinemark, and we went and went to go see Oppenheimer. Wow, that was an amazing movie. We haven't seen Barbie yet, but I'm thinking we might use this $10 to go again on discount night because it's Tuesday nights at the Cinemark. It's like $5 a ticket. So we might go see Barbie because I've heard really good things about Barbie too. All right, so entertainment got 10. Groceries has uh, $3, I think, left over from um, last weekend. So we will take care of that in our savings. So um, groceries is gonna get 20. Um, we probably should get food for the week. And since I am cooking, I need to pick up some more like produce and meat. Uh, miscellaneous has a dollar rollover and we are going to put five dollars back one two three four five for miscellaneous and this is just my buffer envelope in case I go over any of my um, other spending categories gas is getting uh, another ten I'm gonna have to fill up again soon, or not fill up, but at least put $20 in my tank, um, probably before going back to the office on Tuesday. So we'll have to be ready for that. And dining out is going to get 20. So let me see if I have a yucky 20. Oh, this one's a little bit better. All right. Now we are ready to move on to my bills. Okay, so mortgage is getting 603 and we are done stuffing bills this week. So I will be pulling this money out later in an unstuffing video. Um, so we're putting six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and $3. Oops, wrong one. One, two, three. And this should fully cover my mortgage next week when it comes out on the first. So one, two hundred, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, two thousand, one, two, three, four hundred, so twenty four hundred, and this should be twelve, so five, six, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so this of course is going to go back to the bank to cover the mortgage payment. And next up is utilities. Um, I have stuffed this a couple of times in um, side hustle money to beef up the higher electric and water bill. So we're just going to continue with $40 this month. And then next month, I'm going to bump it up to like $56, I think, to cover up all the extra expenses. So utilities, I'm hoping to get close to about... Um, I think I said I needed about $220. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 2, 10, 2, 15, 2, 16. So maybe a little extra. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do like um, in my unstuffing, I will go and make sure uh, what my real total is for the utilities um, for that. Oops. Wi-Fi is getting 17, it's usual 17, so 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So Wi-Fi now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Is that right? Let me count this again, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, yeah. I might have a little extra in here, which is okay. All right. I'm actually getting really excited about doing an August budget with me. I feel like I might be able to fund some of my sinking envelopes so I get to kind of rearrange some things for next month. So lawn care is getting 20. And now it has 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 80. All right, um, car insurance is fully funded for the month since I had sort of a discounted month. So I'm gonna put the $30 that we would normally stuff in car insurance in my sinking funds to um, build up my six month premium payment. HOA today is getting five. So now it has 20, 25, 30. So we are going to color in two more leaves. I think I get to color in three because I went um, in, in a previous video, I put five in before and really I only need to do $4 a month. So I think that's more accurate. All right. So the goal for HOA is 200 by the end of the year. And each one of my petals is worth $2. All right. Um, credit card. We are going to take this out because I did use some sinking funds um, this week to buy a couple of things. And then, of course, my receipts. And like everyone, we, I have a um, Fetch Rewards account, and we scan in our re receipts for points so that we can cash in for gift cards. Um, if you have not signed up for Fetch, I also do a... Um, a um, other, I guess, platform is called My Points, and I also scan receipts into My Points, and those details are in my description if you want to go learn more about that. And we're not stuffing streaming right now. We may have to pick that up next month, but not right now. All right, so now on to my high priorities. Now, I did rearrange some of my envelopes, and I moved my principal and my month ahead into my high priority since I'm pretty consistent about doing this. This is just my extra principal payment of $200 every month and I feel like I'm pretty good at it so I'm putting it in the high priority envelope now. So we are contributing $50 today and this $200 is going towards 
my mortgage, paying down my mortgage loan. So I will make this payment online um, either tomorrow or Sunday. I got a few days left in the month to make that payment, but I will make that online and we'll start over next month. I'm gonna leave that open. Month ahead also gets 50. This is going towards my savings. Um, each month I try and put $50 in a month ahead um, savings account. And um, I have one month already and so I'm working on my second month. So this will go back to the bank and I'll unstuff this later. This will be going back to the bank this weekend and going into savings. Um, my business expenses envelope, I'm going to save, um, in a side hustle stuffing. Um, property taxes is also getting saved for side hustle stuffing. Um, car care is where we're going to add my $30 from my bills. So, oh no, did I put... I think I forgot to put my 50 in here. Yep, I sure did. Okay, so now month ahead adds 200. All right. So, $30. I feel like I may have messed up somewhere. Let me think. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I was supposed to put only 10 in groceries this month. So let me... Okay, so yes, I did it right on my notebook, but I didn't do it right in my spreadsheet. So groceries is only getting at 10. And I will try and stuff this with some side hustle money that I just got. So we will come back to that grocery budget in a later video. All right. No, I'm wrong. Goodness gracious. I did want 20 in groceries because I didn't want to go and stuff it later. We are going to stuff sinking funds later. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind, people. I'm losing my mind. Okay, so groceries has 20, gas has 20 miscellaneous entertainment and dining out has 20. Okay, yes, okay. So, I'm just, it's confusing me because of the denominations are different. Okay, so we should have 680 here um, and I'm going to um, stuff 30. And because I used my 20s in my envelopes, I'm going to put this, um, two tens and two fives. Let's hope everything works out as 30. And let's give this a quick count. So we have one, two, three, 400, 450, 500, 520, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 70, 705, 710. So yes, let me fill this in really quick. I had to start keeping a tracker in here just so that I knew where I stood because I'm really so close to um, fully funding this. I only need another $30 in here to fully fund it. And I think I'm gonna to get to do that this week in my next video. So tune in again later for that. But I'm just so ready to take um, this car insurance off of the like bigger priority list item. So, okay, home care. I did um, spend some money in home care and I think I took it out already, yep. I got some espresso on, in, uh, uh, I guess on Amazon, and um, I just had some, you know, 
I just decided to take it out of home since I didn't have any for groceries. So today, um, home care is getting five. And it should now have 65. So 20, 40, 60. This isn't adding up. Seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-seven. What did I do wrong here? <laughs> I thought I was prepared for my videos, you guys. I'm so sorry. So maybe I didn't unstuff twenty-two. So that might be the problem. I need to unstuff twenty-two to pay myself back to the credit card. So let's see now if we have 65, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. That's what it was. Whew. Crisis averted. All right. So yes, that needs to go back to the bank. So let me put that in here. I can't remember what I do sometimes. I save things to um, share with you guys on my videos and then I forget what I do when you guys are not around. Okay, so vacation is not getting stuff today. Hair and beauty is getting five. So hair and beauty should now have 40. So 20, 30, 35, 40. Thinking about dyeing my own hair, you guys. I need to go to Sally's and buy the stuff. So um, I will start stuffing just for hair color the next time. Uh, memberships is getting five. I just think that $150 to get my hair done every four to six weeks is just something I can't afford. So until things get a little bit better, I am just not going to do it. All right, so memberships is getting five and this is for right now, Amazon Prime. I just paid Amazon Prime membership this month, so this is stuffing for next year. So now Amazon Prime has um, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so we, I think, are done here in the high priority binder. Next up is low priority. So I need to, I think, pay the card back a little bit for money spent on date night and for the movies. So um, I need to take out 10 and 11. All right, so there goes some fives and a one. So C5, 10, 15, 20, 21 is going back to the credit card. I think that's what I did. I just filled out the tracker but didn't take the money out because I wanted to share that with you guys because we all love playing with money, don't we? All right, so uh, according to my tracker, I should have 24. So 21, 2, 3, 4, okay? And today we are stuffing Schmoopy $5. And we should now have 29, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I need to beef up Schmoopy some more. All right. Next up is Christmas. I did have to take some money out of here this week. We had a little birthday 
that I needed to um, take some cash out for. And I took out, I did, I took out $61. So today, um, Christmas is getting $5 as well. All right, so we should have 12. All right. We actually have more than that. Hmm. And I'm in Christmas, right? Yeah. Well, I'll figure out what I did. I'm not sure what I did, but we now have um, 10. 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33. What is 33 minus 12? $21. I need to unstuff $21 because I gave our birthday girl, um, $40 in cash, and then I spent, that's what I did, I spent $21 at the grocery store for balloons and a card and candy, and can y'all believe that cost $21? <laughs> um, okay, so let me unstuff 20 and a one, so Christmas now should have 12. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yep. All right, that's what the receipt was for, it was to remind me to take that money out. I swear, I feel like I've lived 100 days in like a day this week. So much has happened. All right, so that is now going back to the bank. I might count this later because I don't even know what's in, how much is in there. Um, personal is not getting stuffed today. Clothing is not getting stuffed today. And wellness is not getting stuffed today. So we have these $4 rollovers. So I think what I'm going to do, and I don't have any change this week, so I think what I'm going to do is stuff the savings challenge, my little mini extra savings, and this is going to beef up my um, an, a high priority envelope when I'm done. It should end up being like $45. When I'm done, so I put $1 in to finish my little iced coffee, and we have $3 here, so I will color in the beach ball. And let me color in with, well, I, I really need some new colors. I'm so like, I need more variety. All right. All right, getting closer. So we only need five, six, seven left in this challenge. So let's see how much we have in this mini savings. So we have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Cool. Alrighty, and that is all for this week's stuffing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am going to start recording for a side hustle. Um, I just got paid for a side hustle, and so um, I am gonna stuff that next and hopefully get that also up this weekend. Um, I do want to count the credit card envelope before we leave. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting that notifications bell um, so you don't ca uh, miss my next video. Um, and let's give this credit card envelope a quick count before we go, see what we have to work with. Let's organize this really quickly. Ooh, there's quite a bit in here. That's 
good. So some of my bills get um, put on the credit card and some of my, um, I guess, um, variable spending gets put on the credit card. So that's why there is this cash in this envelope. I just unstuff my binders whenever I use my card from my sinking funds and then just pay myself back so that I can pay the credit card down. So we have in going back to the bank to pay the credit card, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 139 dollars. Wow. Okay, you guys, thanks again for hanging out and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.